Hey YouTube buds, this is Jacques Gaines from Jacques Gaines Photography and today I'm going to talk to you about a photo shoot. This is part two of a photo shoot I had with Eleonore. In the first one I shot with the 80D with the 50mm art and the 70 to 200 2.8L and in this shoot with her I used the Fuji X-T2 with the 1855 and the famous 35mm F2. Stay tuned. Before I start this video, I want to tell you guys to check out my playlist on the Fuji X-T2. It's getting longer and longer. I'm starting to get more and more videos as I go. I have some reviews. I got some cool stuff and some impressions on the camera so far. Uh, also, don't forget to check out the playlist, a look at my photo shoots. It's really cool and I'm really proud of it. So. Without further ado, let's get to the video. So listen, this is part two. I didn't want to put this in my other vlog uh, about the f uh, photo shoot I did with Eleonore. I wanted to just talk to you about it right now, really just uh, simply on what happened. Well, Eleonore looked at the photos. Some of them she liked, some of them she didn't. And she has this really good idea of the concept she wanted to go with for her shots. So. We ended up, she came to my place to look at the shots, to actually pick the ones she liked, which I did. And I said, you know what? I just got a new camera, which was the Fuji X-T2. And uh, I said, why don't we just go out and take some shots? So, so we went out and shot and uh, I used the 18 to 55 uh, F2.8 to 4 by Fuji. And I also used the 35 millimeter F2. Um, I went out at around 10, 10:30, and that's what I want to talk about with you today is the extent to which harsh light can be harsh when you are dealing with days in the middle of the summer when it's very very sunny and strong out there it's kind of tough to go out and get great beauty shots and in this shoot what I did was we got to the place where we wanted to shoot and I put her uh, Eleonore in a couple of spots where I wanted to shoot her and things didn't go that well. I mean, I was looking in my visor and it was like super, super harsh. So what I did is I placed her under a tree. Now a tree offers just enough shade in very harsh light to give you a, a softer light. Now what people don't realize is that a tree doesn't completely, completely get rid of all the light. You are getting a nice little soft boxy field. So as stupid as it, as it might sound, the only real advice I wanted to give here was, one, watch out for high noon and anything between 10 o'clock and 5 o'clock in the midsummer months. You can almost not shoot beauty shots there. Now you can, but you're going to have to do it with a team that puts a diffuser up and stuff like that. So it's not the best and most ideal situation. The second point is never underestimate the utility of a tree and the diffusion it gives. One, it gives great diffusion and lowers the amount of light hitting your subject. And secondly, it does give a nice organic tint to whatever you're shooting. I do find it nice, especially when I take those shots and I put a black and white filter. So that is the only point I wanted to mention. And I wanted to tell you again, Eleonore was just as cool as in the last video. So check out that other video. I'm telling you, it's really worth it. It was a lot of fun and we did have a lot of fun that day. So that's all. That's the slideshow, guys. I just wanted to, you to check it out. Thanks for watching. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram for my high quality stuff. Check out Behance. If you like this video, don't forget to click that thumbs up at the bottom. If if you want to keep in cahoots with what I do, subscribe and don't forget everybody, keep on making something from nothing.